Hey everybody, I'm back to do another unboxing. So, the wig that I have is this one here. Her name, let me see. She's from Outre, lace front, lace front wig, um, Swiss lace L parting, and her name is Daria. I got her in the color DX3033, which is like a brown. Yeah, nothing crazy. Um, she also came with a wig cap, two pieces, in the uh, color black, which I don't wear. So I'm going to give it to my friend that wears black ones. So I got her from Sista Wigs. Her price was $28.99 plus shipping because I only bought one wig. Um, but I ordered her on the 8th which was, I believe, Saturday. Yes, Saturday, and today's Wednesday the 12th. So pretty fast shipping, I was glad for that. Um, let's go ahead and open her up. I literally don't open these until I make a video for you guys, so true unboxing. All right, so here she is. It's kind of like a cute little reddish brownish kind of and then like darker brown underneath so of course it comes with the guide care guide instructions step by step how to do it blah 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 um it does say it's high heat up to 400 which is awesome um i like whenever they could do high heat let's go ahead So let's take a look. They put salt things in here. This is the first wig I've ever gotten that has those. That's so funny. Okay. So here is the top. She has two combs on the side, one at the top, which is great. It's not a very heavy wig, so I probably won't use that one. Um, and she does have a clip in the back and adjustable straps, the usual. I do like that it has a lot of clips. The more the merrier. Let me get my scissors that I don't know where I put. Ah, there they are. So, I'm just going to cut off this tag real quick. Okay. So, Parting space doesn't look too bad. I will tweeze some hair out of there so it's more defined. And then put my powder. The hair feels really nice. I really like it. So it's got like a little sushi bang. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the lace and put it on my head before I tweeze it and before I put powder so that you guys can see it. And then we'll talk more about it. So give me just a second. Okay, so let's talk about it. Don't mind my eyebrows. I didn't put any on. Okay, so um, the hair is nice. I will say the cap is, it has a snug opening. So here is snug, but this is not. So like this bump here is because it's too, too much track. This bump here, it's too much track. So I'm gonna have to go in and cut and re-sew the tracks shorter so that um, it's not that bumpy, okay? So, yeah. Um, I did not put any powder. This is how the part is looking right now without anything put in it. There's no powder, I didn't tweeze it. The, it's a very blunt front, um, so I will tweeze or pluck a bunch of hair out of this part right here so that the opening looks more realistic and then put some powder. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm okay with the hair right now. Like... I mean, I'm trying to look at it after, like, after the fact. I will say, like, it's just a little, little bigger than I would like it to be. 
Um, let me see if I can adjust these real quick. So I'm not tripping. The ear tabs are a little longer than I would like. Because see, like now it's all back on my head. But like the ear tabs are really long, which is weird. So like they go over my ears, which I don't really like that. Um, so I will say I'll probably have to modify this wig a lot to be able to wear it. Because um, I did want to wear it this week. So... I think it's okay. It's not like the worst. I've had really bad ones. This one is not, it's probably just as bad as the one I did have to modify, um, which I didn't modify on camera. But like this one is really bad. Like, look at this track. It's so poofed up. Okay, so um, if you have a lot of hair that you're putting under your wings, I think it should be fine. If you ha um, have a larger head, it should be fine. Um, usually I wear small, medium wigs um, because of the, the way my head's shaped, whatever. So those usually work for me. Larger wigs are harder for me because you have to like take the time to like cut them up, resew them, and then you have to worry about like, like I can't, I'm a really bad seamstress. So sometimes they do come undone, you know, and then you're, you know, get, you get more shedding because you have to cut the tracks up. So I'm just gonna have to deal with that problem, whatever. Um, but I think the color is okay. When I put eyebrows on it, it'll look a lot better. Uh, but the hair seems very nice. It's, I don't think it's gonna tangle because of the short wig. Short wigs usually don't tangle, you don't have that problem. Um, you just usually get like a little bit of frizzing at the bottom because you're brushing them and touching them and it's rubbing on your shirt. So I would expect to be straightening the bottoms of them, but that's about it. Um, I don't think I have the one. Let's see. It's probably in. I literally just put all my wigs away. Okay. I don't remember the name of this one, but this is one I had to modify because it was too big. You can't really tell. You just like cut a V and then you sew it. <laughs> like you, the bottom one goes up here and then next and then next. So you just cut like a V and then bring it up. So it's really easy. It's not like a lot of work. It's just annoying because yeah, but see, mine, it doesn't have, like, like, this one had a lot of space in the back. This one has most of the space on the sides. So what I'm probably going to have to do, especially on this one side, too. So weird. So what I'll probably end up doing is just, like, sh cutting little chunks out and then reselling the tracks back together. So in the one month, we'll see how it holds, holds up, and then... If I like it, I probably usually do. I, I usually like all my wigs. I love them. Okay, they're like my babies. So, um, yeah. I will let you guys go. I don't really know. It's not shiny. It doesn't have like a crazy texture. It is thick. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, put them down below. You can like, subscribe, whatever you want I usually have an unboxing just about every month and then I do my one month review on the wig that I purchased and wore for the month so this one I'll probably fix up tomorrow when I feel like it <laughs> but before Monday because I want to wear it to school so I'll have it fixed up by Monday and then I will um, do the one month after that. Um, I mean, it's only $28, what did I say? Yeah, $28.99. It's not bad, it came in other colors. Um, 
I didn't want, I just wanted a short, cute cut. I didn't want anything crazy. This is fine. So I'm just going to adjust it, make it work for me. And then I'll see you guys in a month and you guys can see how it goes. So take care and I'll see you guys soon.